Good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining us on Midday at 1230. I'm Amber Freeman. And I'm Monica Shear. Monica's here on a Wednesday. We're laughing because <laughs> every day that Monica comes on, there seems to be something a little risque. It's the thing of my entire existence, but it's fine. But you handle it very, very well. <laughs> Don't I, though? You okay. do. You do. Uh -huh. um, I think uh -huh. last time we showed up, we had pillow talk. Uh -huh. You handled that one well. Just I gripped the chair and I power through. It's fine. Not weird at all. And then today she comes in, filling in, and we're so glad that you're here. Thank you. And honestly, it's really the holiday market that we're talking about, and the nude exhibition is not X-rated. <laughs> just that's so, what I see. I'm like, of course I'm here. We're just that. starting, so Monica, <laughs> Monica, I think it's a sign. Yay. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the uh, sign's for, but thanks for being here. Exit might be good for me. I don't no. know. No, <laughs> you're staying. You're staying. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're hanging in there and hanging on. We've missed one plague at uh, school and stuff, so I feel like we're... Yeah, you had a sick kiddo. I had a sick kiddo, but the, none of the rest of us have got it. We did the grape juice thing. Have you heard of this? No, what's like the a grape juice thing? It's, it's Facebook lore, right? Where if somebody gets a stomach bug, you drink like a ton of grape juice and it balances the pH or something in your body and it keeps you from getting it. All I know is only one of my children got it and the rest of us did not. So you just had everybody suck down grape juice? Yeah, 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 I did. How much? Uh, I don't know. I drank the most of it because after he got sick, he like coughed in my face. So I was the one that was like chugging it um, because that's what you do as a mom, get yeah. coughed on. Um, but I don't, I mean, I don't know. I feel like we went through like two big jugs of it in like really? a day and a half. So it works. You're going to say it works. I'm going to say it works and I'm going to go home and be sick tonight. No. But that's, uh, yeah, that's what we did. That's a good, uh, that's, so that's Facebook lore? Mm -hmm. Facebook lore. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that apparently keeps people from being sick is having a clean home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to go. Clean your house, I don't know how to go into okay. that. Well, <laughs> okay, so this Marie Kondo, let's yeah, yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. She was like the thing for everybody with decluttering. She's, Did you ever do that? I, well, no, I didn't do it, but I have seen her and she's amazing. Like, she can fold a bra. Oh. Like, is that a, should you do that? I think you're supposed she to hang did it. Memory. She did it. She like she makes everything into like a little packet, and you're supposed to like hold on to it. If it doesn't like spark joy, yeah. So you that's get rid her of it. whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is That she was helping people declutter their homes uh -huh, uh -huh. by getting rid of everything. Yeah. Because apparently only a few things spark joy. Yeah. Well, uh, guess what? Now she wants to sell you some stuff. The star of Netflix, Tidying Up with Marie Kondo, has launched an online shop on her website. More than 100 products are listed on the site, including items for the kitchen, tabletop, bathroom, and, of course, to help you organize. She told the Wall Street Journal her shop is not meant to encourage over-purchasing. She still wants to you to only get things that spark joy. You can check out these items at uh, con mari.com have you taken a look at these items that she's selling um i saw a couple of them like she has like what some like 200 dollar chopsticks or something yeah does I, that does that spark joy that doesn't spark joy for me but i mean unless this woman who has like marketed herself as like the decutter declutter queen of the universe is selling you know industrialized sized trash bags <laughs> uh, i just can't take her seriously anymore right and the, she's saying okay i'm, I'm looking at it right now I mean, there's look like her little website it's all like it's tidy it's tidy, it's minimalist, it's all the things, but now she's gonna come at me with... Yeah, you ready for this? No. Okay, so we have clear quartz crystal. That's, a, if you wanna do the crystals, that's cool. They clear the home. Tuning fork comes along with it. How much do you think? I don't know. 75 bucks. Of course. 75 bucks. Yeah. Um, oh, but you can get them in lots of different colors. There's this, I wish we had pictures of some uh, of these. A small bubble bud vase. 55 bucks. No. There's Marie? like a stick she's selling for like, I think 75 bucks. Can. She got a trash can. She have like a, a storage bin that looks like Buckingham Palace or something in there. I don't know, but I what do you do think about this? Like, is this genius on her part? Because people follow people these. Will, people will buy it. Not me, obviously. But like, people will buy it because, you know, why not? But I just think when you, when you. Here we go. There's her. There it is. Site. When you put your stuff, when you put yourself out there as like, hey, you know, get rid of a bunch of junk, but then here is a bunch of stuff. That I'm going to sell you. That I'm going to that sell you. That I'm telling you. you is going to spark joy. Yeah, I just, I don't you know. You know what's going to spark joy? is her bank account. Word. Because all the people that did this uh, are now going to follow this. And yeah. was it, but how genius was she? I know. To have everybody clear their space clear first. Clear stuff out and be and ready for my here, things. come buy my stuff. This is why I'm not a millionaire. I don't think that I know. Way. We need to change some things around. Mm. Tell us if you would do this, buy Marie's stuff, don't or if you it. think it's kind of a scam. Scam. Don't or if it. she's a genius business owner. I don't know. Don't do it. Uh, don't. 
There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming up, we are going to tell you what you should buy because these items are guaranteed to spark joy. You can have some fine arts and crafts at the holiday art market. I won't even bring it up, Thank and we're going to talk the nude exhibition. That's coming up after the break. Stay with us. It's midday. Things are staying with us. All right, we're all looking for some last minute holiday gifts. So I guess not last minute. I, I think you're ahead of the yeah, game. I'm ahead of the game now. I'm ahead of the game. But if you don't want to go online and you want to actually support some local artists here in town, the Lexington Art League has an awesome, awesome opportunity for you to come on out to their art market that's happening Saturday. It's a holiday market. We're going to talk about that. We have local artist Sierra here with Adrian from the Lexington Art League. Thank you both yeah. so much for being here. Thank you for Thank having you. us today. Okay, well let's talk about this. What is the Holiday Market? So the Holiday Market, we have over 30 local artists. Uh, it's like a mini woodland art fair inside the historic Loudon House at Castlewood Park which is the home of the Lexington Art League. Um, so we will have so many amazing uh, artists to shop. Super, super cool because if you, you talked about the actual art show, the Woodland Art Show, yeah, it's huge. So you've it's condensed huge. it all down into one it's place. Oh, little baby one. And you know, we're trying to get ahead of the game by having this before Thanksgiving so you can really knock out some shopping early. Um, and we have such a range of fibers, artists, ceramics, uh, printmaking, painting. It's going to be a really great uh, array of work to shop. Yeah, that's awesome. I love all of these things down here. I need yeah. this cheeseburger, I think, in my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so well, It's awfully cute. You are speaking to the artist right here. Sierra, so you amazing. are a local artist here in town. Yes. So, And you're going to be at the Holiday Market. Yes. Tell us about what you do and what we can see Saturday. Yes. So I am primarily a fiber artist. So I do um, these hand embroidery hoops and I embroider on vintage clothing. I'm wearing Look at a it. piece today. When you can wear your own art, that's pretty cool. Yes, yeah. um, and I also do um, a latch of art. So there are these little like wall tapestries. It's really fun. Well, let's talk um, about it because there are so many different kinds of art. What is fiber art? Is that what you said? Yes. That's, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Sure. yes. I was like, you looked at me on, I was like, I know I say weird things, but I thought that's what it is. Yes, so fiber art uh, utilizes fabrics and thread, soft materials. Okay, so yeah. it's, it's more kind of the, um, not, that's not crocheting. I, I'm just gonna stop. You talk about what you do. <laughs> yeah, so embroidery captures like, uh, you know, cross stitch, like a lot, of, any kind of like stitching, like you're painting with thread basically. There you go. Yes. So it's not just painting that we can find here this Saturday. Yeah, no. So much more than that. We have, um, you know, this beautiful fiber work. We have some jewelers that are amazing. We have um, some illustrators that do primarily letter work or drawing um, and printmaking using printing press. So we really have a wide array of different media to shop. Very cool. Yeah. Love it. With the Lexington Art League, you obviously support and bring in so many local artists. Sarah, tell us a lot. A, tell us a lot. I don't want to know a, a little <laughs> about most. yourself and how you got into this and what you know what what drives that, what inspires you to do stuff like this. Yes. Um, so I um, really like to do a lot of community art and um, engage the community with uh, with art and just show that art is for everybody. It doesn't have to be this luxurious thing that is inaccessible. So I love being a part of events like this because it brings the community in to engage with art. Sure. Well, it seems like yeah. you do a lot of different kind of, I don't even know if theme is the right word, but just more color than any like yes. specific thing that you're making. So it's not all cheeseburgers, right? <laughs> it's, it's different, just different colors, and I, I love that. Yeah. Do you feel like it's something that takes you all day to come up with, or all week to come up with, or you just start and go? I, I always have, like, a little journal of ideas. Like, I'm always coming up with ideas, but a lot of it is just, like, showing up and just going yeah, and just doing letting it. inspiration come. Yeah. It's awesome. And it's awesome that the Lexington Art League has something to have you showcase your work. If we want to attend, what are the details? Yeah, so it's this Saturday, the 23rd, from noon to 7 at the Lexington Art League. That's 209 Castlewood Drive. 
and we hope to see you there. Yes, uh, I shouldn't say if, when you attend. When and you real attend. quick, just in a few seconds, we teased it. You also have something else coming after this. Yes, we have the Kentucky Nude Exhibition. This is all Kentucky artists doing uh, different forms of art about the figure. There's some classical things, there's some new perspectives on the figure, and we're premiering a little uh, permanent shop inside the Art League, too. Oh, ah, very special cool. little secret. So yeah. see, <laughs> it's the beauty of the body. Beauty of the it's, figure. It's yeah. not extra. Rated, it's classy. Right? It's, it's so classy. classy. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing class, classy nudes, right? Classy <laughs> nudes. Exactly. My favorite kind. Well, thank you both so much for being here. Awesome, thank awesome you. work. You can see it this Saturday at the Holiday Market. That information was up on your screen. Thanks again. Stay with us. We're talking food after the break. Thanks for staying with us. All right. We talked about how you can buy some really great Christmas mm -hmm. gifts. Now we have Sandy Savage back with Kentucky Makers. She is going to teach us how we can actually make our own gifts. Thank you so much, Sandy, for being Yay. here. Well, thank you so much for having me back. All right, well, it's always fun when you're here. You Let's let's <laughs> talk you. about what you do, because you do workshops. Okay. Yes, we do. We have a uh, shop right now in, in downtown Lexington, and we do tons of workshops and classes for people to really cultivate the creativity that they have. And so knitting, crocheting, macrame. We had a, a jumbo weaving class the other oh, wow. day, which was made out of huge roving. It was great. I just want to say I'm going to a jumbo weaving class tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You say cultivate because so many of us are like, oh, we're just not creative. Right. I can't do it. Everyone, I believe everyone has like a little strain of creativity in them. It's just bringing that out, finding which one you like. And you're amazing at doing that. Thank you Monica, so much. Monica, you, uh, you got off the hook because usually Quentin is here <laughs> trying to quilt or do something like that. I, I love it. I can, actually, I can actually knit a little bit. Little, little known fact about myself. Can't crochet for a darn, but I can. Do a little knitting. Good there to know. You know. Jump Good back. to know. <laughs> All right. So what, next time, just next time. Yes, you, we'll, we'll put you to the test, mm -hmm. Monica. We're I'm not scared. We're I'm not it. scared. Sandy, what so kind fun. of gifts can we make for our friends and family? Well, this is what I love, especially about this season, is that there are tons of like little kits that you can either make something for someone, or you can like give them the kit, and they can be creative in it also. I kind of like that idea. Yeah. Best. Here, <laughs> you make this yourself. <laughs> make your own hat. I, I bought you this. <laughs> make it. <laughs> here's a kit for you. Yeah. Like, so over here we have like your first hat kit. In that class, you can either get the kit by itself and give it to someone, and there's video support, or they can take the class and make this hat in the time of the class. I love so an hour this and a half. Hat. You don't have to have any experience. So it is a one and a half hour class. At the end of the class, you'll have a hat. You make your own hat in an hour and in a half. In an hour and a half. Yes. Can you talk about how adorable this is. And you can have no knitting adorable. experience at all. Really? Yeah. This is cute. Yes. And this is this hat kit. Yes. Okay, that's that I, hat I'm kit. kind of amazed that that's going to happen because in I feel like it's going to take me an hour and a half to open a box. <laughs> no, I mean, I've tried to make a hat before and it has taken me like a month. I don't know. It takes a long time to do this kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm impressed that you can get it done in the amount of your time. You'll be able class. to do it in the class. Here's Love some it. other little kits, like there's some Bargello kits. Wait, what's Bargello? Bargello is something that was <laughs> way in the like 70s. It was so in the 70s, but it is back. So there's fun little wall oh, hangings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a needlepoint with yarn. It's very fun. Oh, so we have cute. some, my mom, I think, made that stuff because I had a lot of that growing up in my house. Yes, <laughs> yes. It is She's back. very creative. <laughs> There's fresh colors, you know, it's so pretty. You can learn how to knit, like these are fun little things. This actually came in a kit with a pattern, so you could learn how to make little wrist warmers and give those as gifts. These like are my this favorite is a nice, things. that's a cashmere wool blend, which is so favorite. They so are really, really soft. soft, yeah. You could give someone a book. This is a great book that just came out from my friend T in New York. And Somebody can learn how to crochet from a book, so it's just great gift ideas that you can that you can give to someone. I'm loving these kit yeah. ideas. Yeah, the kit ideas is that's nice. Just Absolutely, yeah. Have it all kind of together. You're not knowing having to figure out what mm -hmm. size needles you need, what size yarn you need. You all mm -hmm. kind of have it all in there together. So you can do it yourself, or you can give it as a gift. This is super super cool. Yeah. So when we come to your workshops, yes, you have a change coming. You have some big news. Yes, we have we have a few <laughs> things of big news coming up. 
Um, one thing is we are changing our location, which is going to be fantastic. We'll be in a, in a retail news. front. <laughs> it's great news. We'll have a whole front retail spot. It's going to be fantastic. That'll support lots of artists here in Kentucky. Um, also, we are at the beginning of 2020 launching a nonprofit initiative to have women come in for self-care classes, for um, knitting, crochet classes. Uh, entrepreneurial classes all for free wow. which is amazing so, yeah so women at risk they can come in and we can just have a community and build a community for women in the in the area that's awesome Because yeah. we talk about it a lot you know mm -hmm. art is an expression yes. of everything inside of you and mm -hmm. it's also a healing process yes absolutely self-care you know there's an article out that says knitting is the new yoga and it's real like you were doing something and creating something by hand which is I think that we're missing a lot of that sure. now mm -hmm. so to have someone come in and get in community get around other people and learn a skill that could give self-care to them and so that they can learn something new like they could learn something and go hey I want to turn this into an actual business right. that I never thought of before thank you for doing that for free making <laughs> a big difference yeah, where's awesome. all thank your you. information how can we get into these workshops thank you well you can go to the website or you can go to our Facebook over on the events tab and get all of the information for all the classes and workshops and there are some coming up so definitely check that out Sandy thank you so much for being thank here you. Love you. the so much kit. Uh, have a great one tomorrow's <laughs> Thursday. We'll see you then. <laughs>